She stars on one of the hottest shows on TV, and when it airs, everyone, including us, yeah. are tweeting hashtag TGIT. Thank God it's Thursday. Yes, and here with the inside scoop on the season finale of Grey's Anatomy is actress Jerrica Hinton. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Hi. Okay, McDreamy's dead. <laughs> we're just starting. We're, we're, just start there. we're starting with tragedy. I, because I don't think I've recovered yet. Oh, you know, it's, were you shocked? Well, we knew about it as a family beforehand. We knew it was coming, just like when Sandra departed last season. Right. We talked about it as a family. We grieved together. We celebrated the time we had left mm -hmm. in a very healthy way, and we kept mum. And then when it aired, everybody lost their minds. Now, oh. how did you keep that secret from us, girl? Well, you know what? <laughs> I mean, Jerrica, come we on. We are really good. See, we, we, we keep a lid on it. It's a tight-knit family. Mm. Wow. So why yeah. did he leave? I've been hearing a lot of rumors of why he left there the There are always going to be rumors surrounding right. it. People, people like to find any kind of angle to talk about everything. Mm. You know, it was, it was an internal family decision. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay, okay, so talk about the internal family decision that brought you to the show. How did you get this huge gig? I got this huge gig from one scene in Scandal. Mm. You're kidding. One scene in the, in the first season of Scandal, I think it's the second or third episode, led to, so far, three years going into four now on Grey's Anatomy. Shonda Rhimes, when, I mean, she's she's a lovely person. She's loyal. When she loves an actor, she loves them. There are, no, there are no, <laughs> small parts, right? no small parts, right? No small parts. Did you have any idea that it would turn into? Absolutely you not. Know, you Had know. I known, I probably would have been too nervous and wouldn't have even gotten the job. Yeah. Well, you mentioned <laughs> showrunner Shonda Rhimes. What's it like working with her? She seems like such a genius. Shonda is a boss. Yeah. Shonda she's is a one genius of the most powerful boss. women in TV. She mm -hmm. really is. And the empire keeps growing. Mm. She, I, I I can't say enough good things about her. She's really an inspiration, and I'm learning a lot. Has she given you tips about the craft or anything along the way? About acting? Well, you know, Shonda's not an actor. Shonda's right, a showrunner. But... Shonda's mm -hmm. a creator. She's a writer. And she and likes so... what she sees. Yeah, and she likes what she sees. So we've talked about the world of Grey's and things like that. Mm -hmm. But in terms of acting pointers, yeah, that's... Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Let's see you in action, and All then right. we'll discuss. Let's All do right. <laughs> have three rules. One, listen to the nurses. Respect the nurses. Do whatever the nurses say. You may think yes. you know more than the nurses. You do not. Two, your life is now all about me. Not about you or your boyfriend. Your fight with your sister or your nasty little rash down there. When we are focused on me, we are learning to be surgical gods. When we are focused on you, we're working at a gas station. Three, no complaining. You complain and you are out. Got it? Are Whoa. you that tough in real life? Oof. Are you that no nonsense in real life? Because I'm a little scared of you now. Depends on the situation. Depends uh, on what the situation yeah. calls for. Wow. Was it tough for you to learn all the medical terminology and everything surrounding your character? No, actually, I feel I feel very fortunate in that respect. I'm, mm. I'm a big believer in research, and so as long as I know what I'm saying and I understand how it connects, and I know, you know, like oh, okay, when we say this multi-syllabic word it relates to this part of the body, mm -hmm. then I can make sense of it all. So how do you research? You hang out with a bunch of doctors, you just go uh, Google. <laughs> you know what's funny? When you are hired on the show, you have the option to go and watch a real surgery. Ooh. Is that right? Yeah. Huh. And so there's that. Huh. We also have an onset medical researcher, like a, mm -hmm. a former nurse who's one of our producers. Oh. We have a medical researcher in the writer's room as well. Mm -hmm. And then individually, you can go and look up any and everything because Google is amazing and I right. watch a lot of <laughs> surgeries on YouTube. Well, it's amazing what you can What are your doctor's appointments like now? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that's not right. Um, <laughs> Do you self-diagnose all the time now? <laughs> WebMD is your best friend and your worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Are you turned away from blood at all? Are you good now? You, no, I, 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 was, I, never, I, never, I was never squeamish about any of that. Oh. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally am. It's just really? like, no, I can't do yeah, it. I can't. No, yeah. no, no, no. So when you get your, do you ever donate blood? Do you get your blood? No, no. <laughs> no. She I know. I said it on national TV. <laughs> yeah, she made faint. It's I'm just, yeah, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm we really afraid. Okay. You didn't hear that. No. Yeah. No, it's just between us. Just between oh, us. Gosh. And I know you can keep a secret. I can. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Well, speaking of just between us, <laughs> season finale is coming up. It is. What can you tell us? Some inside scoops. I can tell you that uh, everyone dies. Okay. And <laughs> Good to know. Oh, my God. <laughs> so the show is over. <laughs> everyone dies, and yet somehow we have a season 12. So uh, right. you put those two together. I don't know how that's going to work. Oh, interesting. Shonda can pull I it know, off, right? All right. <laughs> So you step in behind the camera as well now? Is that I right? do. Well, yeah. I have directed before. Mm -hmm. I'm a writer. I have. I've, I've written. I've directed. I'm producing right now. And there's mm -hmm. a small indie that I'm producing. And solace. we start rolling. Yes, yeah, Solace. Mm -hmm. uh, we start rolling camera uh, in June, and it's a lovely little indie written by Chaiko Omawale. That's about a young girl kind of dealing with grief and the unhealthy ways that uh, that she chooses to to deal with that. Yeah, why was it important for you to step behind the camera? I've always done that. Mm -hmm. Even, uh, I've acted since I was a kid, mm -hmm. and yet when it was time to go to college, I knew I didn't want to study that. I studied directing and playwriting. I just think you make, mm -hmm. it makes for a better artist who knows all sides 
of the equation. Mm -hmm. And you're actually teaching classes as well to others. I used to teach, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to teach uh, uh, playwriting and acting to junior high kids. Do it all. I do it all. And, I'll, and a doctor in her spare time. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for you? What's next is the next season of Grace. Mm. I mean, the rest of my summer is going to be dedicated to solace and getting that rolling, and mm. then after that, Rolling right back into Grace. Rolling right back into putting on your scrubs and yep. getting ready to go. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we can definitely catch you every Thursday night on ABC. And if anyone missed past episodes, make sure you go and download the ABC app. You can yeah. catch all the past things that happened, including your boyfriend leaving you at old girl's wedding. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a whole other story. We can talk about that during the break. But we'll get there. Jackson, shame on you. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360. Jackson, shame on you. <laughs>